Welcome, welcome to the Bird's Eye View. I am the War Duck, and fortunately, we are out without Mr. Crow today. But uh, I came across this article that kind of I kind of laughed at, and uh, it says a woman born in 1997 wonders how anything got done before the internet, and millennials and Gen Xers are happy filling in the blanks for. Her. So I have uh, two daughters. They're seven. They've never seen life, you know, before streaming and internet and satellite internet and Starlink and cell phones and all this other stuff. And uh, it just kind of made me laugh just to, to think about all the stuff that when I was a kid, we didn't have. Because even when I was in middle school, cell phones weren't a thing. Some kids had pagers, um, but the cell phones wasn't there yet. Even in high school, cell phones weren't there yet. And then this lady was born after I got out of high school and was already in the military. So I was thinking of all those things in the past. And it was just kind of made me laugh because people nowadays can't function without it. Which brings me to the other part of this is Michigan woman pulled from outhouse toilet after climbing in for an Apple Watch. The woman lowered herself inside the toilet after dropping the watch and it was later heard yelling for help. Now, Apple watches are like, I think they're like $400 and everything. So it kind of made me ask is where's that level of need to where you would do something silly like this? Because I don't know, like you can die in outhouses because of the gases and stuff. Like it can overcome you and you can die. You can drown, you can get massively sick from all the stuff in there. So for this Apple Watch, she took a huge risk that she may have not have realized, but it was a huge risk. She could have died. And luckily she came out um, unscathed and she had her Apple Watch. But like, it just kind of made me think is if, What's the line where you would do something like this? If you dropped your phone in there or you dropped your Apple Watch or, or you know, like, I don't know. Like, what's the dollar amount or what's the attachment of something that, that you would go in there for? Like your wedding ring or something like that. Is there a dollar amount where you're going in or, you know, like, are you going to take the smart route and call like a, like a some kind of a pumping company to have them come out and sift through it or something like that. It's like, because for me, there's no dollar amount. I don't think, well, I mean, I guess if you were talking like five, $10,000 of something, maybe, but I'd be trying to find another way. Like I would build me a big strainer and be trying to fish it out or something long before I ever get in there. So I guess that's the question is you for you is, what would it take for you to have to go into an house to retrieve something? Or is this just no way, no matter what it costs, you're finding another way to do it? For me, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty redneck about fixing stuff up. So I'd probably find a way to get some kind of a long pole with a, with a strainer on it and be sifting around down there long before I'd ever get in there. I would might even pay somebody to come in and pump it out and retrieve it because I just don't see myself for four hundred dollars or a cell phone or an Apple Watch getting down in that nasty stuff. There just ain't no way. So let me know what you think. But that is it for this episode. Uh, we'll hopefully, uh, Crow will be back next week. Everybody was kind of feeling under the weather a little bit. Even last week, I was a little sick. That's why we didn't have a video. But with that, we're out of here. Much love, all. We will catch you next time.